hey babes welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel i am jay so in today's video we will be doing a trick where we are setting and blurring our eyeshadow with loose powder i know y'all probably like what i have to see this yes let's just skip the chit chat and get right into it this is what I'll be using for my eyebrows, if you know, you know. But my question is, how does this still have product in it? I've been using this like forever. So the main products I will be using today is my Carnival palette from Be Perfect. Love this palette down, it's so pigmented. And I'm gonna be taking my pink powder, my pink one size powder, to go ahead and do that trick where I tap it over my eyeshadow. yeah okay listen get into the skin all right get into the skin look at how my skin is glowing love it so i'm taking my milk primer that primer is bomb i love it i'm kind of holding back on one of my other primers that i've been using i'm gonna talk about it i said i liked it but i don't know okay i don't really know if i like the primer that i recently bought if you know you know and for foundation, I am taking my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. I really like this foundation, y'all. I thought for some reason that it would be dry. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's actually pretty. Like, it has a nice glow to it. I was thinking it's going to be dull. Maybe it was like the Sephora lighting when I bought it. But it's actually not dull at all. It's really, really nice. And it has a glow to it, which I like. I love a yellow undertone. And for my concealer, of course, I'm taking my Born This Week concealer. Now, one of these is in Butterscotch, and the other one is in... Mm -hmm. I don't know but anyway I'm pointing to that one because as you can see like one has more of a golden undertone which I like and then one is more of a neutral kind of olive undertone which is the one that I'm using but I put into that one so you guys can see the one that I like the most which is the one with the golden undertone I'm gonna drop the name one of the other one is butterscotch what is that one anyway yeah i'm drawing on my triangles like i've always do to go ahead and highlight the high points of my face and i'm just giving you guys a quick run through of the face because we want to get into these eyes okay we want to see if this trick really works so i'm also setting my under eyes you already know taking my yellow powder laying that down first and then taking a nice translucent powder to go ahead and highlight further under the eyes contouring with my fenty stick and all that good stuff And finishing up the face, I'm taking some blush, y'all. I am a blush girly now, okay? I never was before, but ooh, I love me some blush. It makes the face pop and it adds more color. I don't know why I was so scared to ever use blush, but I love it. I always use my Care Bear blush, as I showed you guys. And I'm just lining my lips and, of course, applying my NYX lip gloss on top of some shimmer. And now we get to the eyes. And now to make sure that those colors are really going to stick on my eye, are really going to pop on my eye, I went ahead and I took my same Bold and Sweet Concealer and I applied more to the lid with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Like I said, just to make sure that those eyeshadows are really stuck onto my eye and the colors are really pigmented. So I'm just patting that into place and then moving on to eyeshadow. The first color I picked up was this burnt orangey color as my first color to put down. And I'm packing that eyeshadow on y'all because this trick is supposed to literally blur the shadows and kind of like blend them together. So I'm packing that out and I'm not doing much blending because like I said, I could go ahead and blend it out, but I really want to see if the trick works. So I'm kind of like doing my eyeshadow sloppy on purpose i know a lot of y'all probably looking like this is not sloppy well when y'all see the finishing I'm like that's not sloppy like that's sloppy that's my regular eyeshadow but yes it's kind of like i'm just winging it i'm just like throwing it on there patting it into place not doing much blending and i use a variety of color because like i said i really wanted to make sure that i see the full effect of this trick so for the lid i went ahead and i took this bright neon green and at first I applied that all over the eye, but then I was like, mm, I need more color in here. Like I need to see, I need to see sun shake. All right. So I added a hot pink eyeshadow and then like rushing through because like I said, I really want to see this trick. I forgot. You guys know, I always add a deep eyeshadow. What does that, uh, black, whether, bleh, whether that is a black 
a brown a navy blue a purple just something really really deep into the crease you know i always say that makes your eyeshadow pop and like i said i applied that very loosely very sloppy okay not very demure okay <laughs> it was very loose very sloppy very all over the place thank you so now of course we're doing the same thing to the next eye and same process taking that burnt orange color applying that down taking that lime green the hot pink and the purple now i know you guys are probably like okay you gave us an intro but you never really explained to us like what the trick is so to get into it i seen this trick on instagram where if you applied a loose setting powder over your eyeshadow that it will blur and blend the eyeshadow and give the eyeshadow more of a filtered kind of blended effect and i was like what like i have to try this so when i seen the person do it i wish i wish i always get everybody the credit it was like i seen it on instagram and then it's I, you know i scrolled and then it refreshed and i can't find it but when they did it i did in fact see the blurring effect so i'm like i have to try this on me i have to look at it like face to face in the mirror and i have to, I have to see how this comes out and if this is something that i will be using on the regular and now finally we get to the fun part so i'm taking that one size powder in that pinky blush color like i said and if you are here from my last video from like two months ago no tea no shade um then you would know that this is a powder that i use in that video to so go ahead and create that pink look but now I'm just taking a regular old fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm really, really packing that powder on because like I said, I was so excited to do this trick. I'm like, I have never heard this before. So I want to make sure I get this right and I want to make sure that it comes out with that full effect. Okay. And while I'm already blending this into place, I'm just like, I don't know. It looked like it was like kind of disappearing a little bit. So I wanted that to really settle in. Like I said, I didn't want to like dust it off right away because I wanted to see the full effect. So I'm like, I'm going to let that bake on my eye for a second. So while I let that bake, I'm going to go ahead and draw on my wings. Yeah, I know that's my signature. Hi, if you are new here, my name is Jay. I love a wings eyeliner. Okay, just like I love a pink lip, I love a wings eyeliner. So I'm drawing that on with my NYX liquid liner which is currently the only liquid liner that i use and i was like hmm i'm still not ready to dust that off yet like i'm waiting i'm tapping my wrist because i'm like hmm time let some time go by because i want to wait like i really want to make sure that that eyeshadow gets its full effect but as i was looking at it and just like staring i'm just like hmm it looks like it's like kind of disappearing a bit almost as if like it's blurring it but it looks like it's also taking away the pigment so it makes me think like should i have used a pink powder but maybe if i use a white one it would have done the same thing so i'm just waiting and waiting yeah <laughs> i waited a very long time and so i was like okay and now i'm taking that same eyeshadow blush and i'm dusting it off very lightly because we don't want to move the eyeshadow or possibly you know take the eyeshadow off so i'm making sure it's to be very gentle as i dust that off and looking at it i'm not gonna say anything because i want you guys to know my final thoughts at the end but looking at it i'm like i do see something i see a little sign sign okay but i'm just like let me just finish off the look to make sure that what i'm judging is right so finishing off the look of course i'm drawing my wing liners on again and i always get comments like on my tiktok of how i draw my wing liners on here's a better angle because you can see this eye more all i do is draw a straight line up from my bottom waterline okay and then i connect it all the way to the middle of my eye and i just fill that in it's really simple i will go into detail one day i promise y'all adding a little bit of mascara and of course topping off with my lash okay y'all so yeah no like i said this is a yay or nay video so personally honestly y'all i wouldn't give this trick hmm all right <laughs> so i wouldn't give it a i feel like it's not a yay or a nay honestly like i feel like it's just a. it's not a yay it's not a nay i feel like it's just a okay like honestly because it's not like i just like I don't get me wrong I, I see it I see the vision I do see it I see like the soft and like subtle type of thing 
However, I feel like it's not a big, I feel like it's not a huge trick. Like, um, I would definitely use it if I feel like I messed up on my eyeshadow. I do honestly, I'm looking in the mirror right now. I do honestly see how it kind of blurs the imperfections. But it's very, very... I would, I would use it again. I would do this again. If I, I would definitely do this again. Especially if you're going for something very, very soft. Oh, if you are like maybe doing a soft beat, however the person wants eyeshadow. Or if you're doing a soft beat on yourself and you want eyeshadow. I would definitely, this would definitely go in the look and it makes everything a lot softer. So, it's, I wouldn't give it a yay. It's not necessarily that it's bad. It's not a yay. Like I said, just an okay thing. Like, y'all know how some influence, influencers be like overdoing it. Like, they'll see a trick or new product and it'll be like oh my god like you guys have to try it this is so amazing like oh do you guys see that like do you got like calm down like not everything is like a big bonanza or something like some, some things are okay some i'm not gonna lie some products do get you hype they get you there some tips and tricks they get you hype and you're excited i'm i'm excited about a lot of stuff sometimes products shock me i'm like oh my god like, i see that but y'all yeah, know what i'm saying they be like oh, do you see the difference between that eye and that eye? oh my god you, you have to like calm down you know when you're talking to your followers and supporters you're talking to your, like your friends like you're on a facetime call you tell them about a product or something relax <laughs> so like i said it's not a yay or a nay it's just an okay thing like it's cool like i like it it definitely does blur the trick is cool like i said for a soft beat I like it so you know it's more on the yay side but I'm just saying that it's not a yay because it's not like it's not a thumbs up thumbs thumbs down ugh. it's not a thumbs up thumbs down thing it's like an okay thing like it's cool like it definitely I see the vision like that's dope I would have never thought to set my eyeshadow and if it ever comes in the future where I'm doing a soft beat or I feel like I got an imperfection I would definitely do it again I honestly you know what I was expecting something extreme I think that's what it is my expectations were too high for this trick but anyway yeah that's okay so anyway that is it for this video guys like i always say don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload also make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on instagram at j.pierre and on tiktok at j.pierre underscore if for some reason you don't have tiktok or instagram i'm going to leave a list right here on the screen of every single social media platform that i have make sure you guys follow me on each one that you have and i will check you guys in my next video okay love you guys Bye.